Solomon Bear Brown is wearing an eye patch after an accident in the forest. The Alaskan Bush People star, 30, found himself in the emergency room on Monday after an injury, sharing photos of his hospital bracelet and the new black eye patch he was given as a result. Bear is doing well, a Discovery Channel rep tells People. He was running through the woods, as usual, and he ran into a branch that injured his eye. He went to the hospital and found that he had a scratched cornea. He will be fine. Fans of the show know Bear is a bit of a daredevil. He is fearless and full of confidence and likes to do everything to the extreme, Discovery writes in Bear's official bio, adding that Brown, whose job it is to hunt for meat to sustain his family, enjoys tracking animals even when not hunting for meat. In an episode of the show that aired last July, his eldest son Matt Brown, 35, was alone at the family's rural Alaskan homestead when he detonated an improvised bear deterrent made of black powder and knocked himself out. Head wounds sent Matt to a hospital in Juneau via airlift. There, he wound up in the intensive care unit, where doctors used nine staples to close the wound on his scalp. The bears were really bad. I just got overly paranoid in the situation and took it a little too far. He told his brother Bam later of why he detonating the black powder deterrent, the bears near their home had become increasingly comfortable with entering the property while the family was away. I remember bits and flashes like right afterwards grabbing a towel and the tape. I remember taping it to my face as blood ran down my face, he added. Bits and pieces of the paramedics. It was more like a nightmare. Essentially what happened is I got careless. I was alone on my island and there were bears around. I take things 90 miles an hour and I don't really think about it before just jumping there. And I took it upon myself. I didn't realize I could hurt myself and in turn hurt everyone else. Meanwhile, Alaskan bush people matriarch Amy Brown, 54, faced a health crisis of her own when she was diagnosed with advanced lung cancer. In December. After months of painful radiation and chemotherapy treatments, she received some good news. All signs of her cancer, which had spread throughout her chest and back, had disappeared. The doctors were as shocked as we were. Ami's husband, Billy, who relocated his family from their homestead in rural Alaska to Southern California last year for Ami to receive treatment, previously told people,